Gunpowder tea, Chinese, zhu cha pinyin, zhu cha, literally, pearl tea, pronounced yu, is a form of Chinese tea in which each leaf has been rolled into a small round pellet. Its English name comes from its resemblance to grains of gunpowder. This rolling method of shaping tea is most often applied either to dried green tea, the most commonly encountered variety outside China, or oolong tea. Gunpowder tea production dates back to the Tang Dynasty 618 to 907. It was first introduced to Taiwan in the 19th century. Gunpowder tea leaves are withered, steamed, rolled, and then dried. Although the individual leaves were formerly rolled by hand, today most gunpowder tea is rolled by machines, though the highest grades are still rolled by hand. Rolling renders the leaves less susceptible to physical damage and breakage and allows them to retain more of their flavor and aroma. In addition, it allows certain types of oolong teas to be aged for decades if they are cared for by being occasionally roasted. Shiny pellets indicate that the tea is relatively fresh. Pellet size is also associated with quality, larger pellets being considered a mark of lower quality tea. High quality gunpowder tea will have small, tightly rolled pellets. Topic. Varieties When sold as a variety of tea, gunpowder tea has several varieties. Pingshui gunpowder, Ping Shui Zhu Cha The original and most common variety of gunpowder tea with larger pearls, better color, and a more aromatic infusion, which is commonly sold as Temple of Heaven gunpowder or Pinhead gunpowder, the former, a common brand of this tea variety. Formosa gunpowder, a gunpowder-style tea grown in Taiwan near Keelung, it is claimed to have its own characteristic aroma, different from that of Zhejiang province gunpowder grown in mainland China. Formosa gunpowder teas are typically fresh or roasted oolongs. Ceylon gunpowder, a gunpowder variant grown in Sri Lanka, usually at altitudes exceeding 1,800 meters 6, feet. see green Ceylon teas, several types of green teas are commonly rolled into gunpowder form, including Chunmi, Tiguanyan, Huang Guanyin, and Dong Ding, as well as many other oolong and higher-end jasmine teas. Etymology <inaudible> <inaudible> In Chinese, gunpowder tea is called zhu cha, zhu cha literally, pearl tea, or bead tea, not to be confused with boba tea. The origin of the English term may come from the tea's similarity in appearance to actual gunpowder, grayish, dark pellets of irregular shape used as explosive propellant for early guns. The name may also have arisen from the fact that the gray-green leaf is tightly rolled into a tiny pellet and explodes into a long leaf upon being steeped in hot water. Another explanation is that the tea can also have a smoky flavor. It is also possible that the English term may stem from the Mandarin Chinese phrase for Freshly brewed, gang powder, gang powder, which sounds like the English word gunpowder. Topic: <inaudible> Brewing methods. While brewing methods vary widely by tea and individual preferences, one teaspoon of loose leaf tea is recommended for every 150 milliliters (5.07 ounces) of water. Ideal water temperature for this type of tea is between 70 degrees Celsius (158 degrees Fahrenheit) and 80 degrees Celsius (176 degrees Fahrenheit). For the first and second brewing, leaves should be steeped for around 1 minute. It is also recommended that the tea cup or tea pot used be rinsed with hot water prior to brewing the tea to warm the vessels. When brewed, gunpowder tea is a yellow color. Use in the Maghreb Gunpowder tea is exported to the Maghreb where it is used in the preparation of traditional North African mint tea. The Moroccan tea ritual is at the heart of any social gathering, from an informal visit to a neighbor to lavish soirees with dignitaries. Mint tea is made by adding mint and sugar or honey to gunpowder tea while brewing. <laughs> 